we're going. Well, hello and welcome to the Dragon Cons Kids Track. I'm Lucien Lockhart. I'll be um, hosting this panel with some very enthusiastic um, uh, um, panelists who are here to discuss the musicals of Disney, including Zombies, Disney's Descendants, and Hamilton. So I would like to take a moment to let each of our panelists introduce themselves, tell us who they are, how old they are, and what their favorite um, Disney musical is. And we could start with you, Maddie. Hi, I'm Maddie, I am 12, and I really like all the Descendants um, musicals. Nice. How about you, Penelope? Um, as you know, I'm Penelope. Um, I'm 11, and my favorite musical is Zombies 2, Disney musical, of course. Nice. And how about you, Angel? My name is Kaylee. It just somehow shows up as Angel. I'm 12, and my favorite, um, it would be Zombies. Awesome. Nice to hear. Nice to hear. Well, some of our audience is not aware of these particular films, so I'm going to let the enthusiasts describe what these films are about. So let's start with Zombies. Can you tell me just a little bit about the musical Zombies and why you love it so much, Angel? I mean, Kaylee? Um, it's about a girl and a zombie falling in love. I like it because it like shows that you can fall in love with anybody. Oh. So does that mean I can fall in love with Zac Efron? Oh, oh yes, yay. <laughs> so they must have loved the first version of this because apparently there was a second. Penelope, can you tell me what they could possibly do for zombies too to make it even better than a girl falling in love with a zombie so for zombies too it's like um it's like saying everyone should be accepted even though they have flaws or they look different because it's like a whole new group of a whole different group of monsters in a way because they're werewolves and then they're zombies and then they're normal humans and it's all just all together and i really love that yeah. Oh, nice. So they added to the storyline a bit there. And so we have a question already. I am reminding you, don't forget Bianca. You can't see her, but she's there. Okay, we're going to have to take a moment and have Bianca introduce herself. Um, Bianca, can you go ahead and introduce yourself real quick? You'll have to unmute yourself. Okay. Uh, I think Bianca is not there after all. I think she's just listening. So oh. don't worry about it. Sorry, we'll just edit this out. Sorry, Lucian. Oh, no, that's perfect. It, it's easy to do pickups. Pickups are super easy um, to do when it's not live theater. Um, and I see the chat saying, you forgot Bianca. You forgot Bianca. Bianca, lo siento. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, so it seems like zombies seems to have a love theme and everyone deserves a chance theme. So let's switch over for a moment because we also were speaking about Disney Descendants. So Maddie, can you tell me a little bit about Descendants and why you love it so much? Well, it's about four villains. Well, dot, um, children of villains and they everyone thinks that they're bad and everything they were at first but then they realized that being good is so much better and more rewarding and stuff like that so yeah they, that's like the plot and also some of the villains fall in love with the good side and then the villains turn good because of that too so yeah Wow, that sounds fantastic. Okay, I'm noticing a theme in Zombies 1 and in Descendants. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's talk about love. I want to know who your couple is. Who is your favorite couple in the world of Zombies, Zombies 2, and Descendants? 
and anyone can pick up. Go ahead, Miss Penelope. Who is your favorite couple from Zombies 2? I don't know. Honestly, I honestly think that they kind of match the characters and their identities very well, with each of them having their differences, but also similarities. So I honestly think I like pretty much all of them. I don't really have a favorite. I'm kind of, you know, team. Um, what is the cheerleader that uh, was going to give up, but she's best friends with um, Maddie? What is her name? I'm pretty sure that it is. No, wait, that's the other. I'm sorry. I'm thinking. <laughs> um i'm pretty sure that it is eliza oh yes that's the zombie eliza the other cheerleader and i think that's my favorite couple i think from zombies too but i'll look them up in a moment how about zombies one angel who's your favorite couple um i don't have one i i love everyone you love them all Oh, y'all are so sweet. You are nice. And then what about Descendants? Mine is Mal and Ben, obviously. Don't you mean Ben and Uma? No. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you like best about Mal and Ben? It's just like they're always there for each other. And like, even when Mal even when Ben knows Mal is like using him he still tries to find the good in her and then makes her good so it's just like it's so cute I don't know oh he makes her good and it's Brie I remember the name of that cheerleader now so we know about the love everybody's pretty much like loving all of the couples what is your favorite song from each of your Disney musical movies. And it'll pick up this time with, uh, with um, Kaylee. From Zombies, um, it's probably Do It Like the Zombies Do. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is definitely a good one. It's fast paced. Do you dance to it when you hear it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you know all the dances to it? No. Not yet. No, I can't. No, it's too fast for me. <laughs> all right. I pull out my back every time I try, but it's a good song. All right. So how about you, Penelope? Um, mine is definitely We Own the Night, and I, I really like it. Mm. Now, we know about zombies too, but a lot of people aren't familiar with it. Who sings We Own the Night? Which groups in that movie? The werewolves, because you, because know, like, and yeah, because they, werewolves usually in fairy tales and all come out at night, so yeah. Yes, nicely done, nicely done. So um, throwing it over to Descendants, what is your favorite Descendants song? Mine's rotten to the core, because, like, it's just, like, an original one from the first movie, and I just always found it catchy, so, yeah. Yes, it is, it is. All right. So, um, you're going to take one second. I am going to keep messing up Angel's name, because I'm 100% visual, and so, you guys, I know you may not know how to use your Zoom, but the track director and the KT volunteer can change any of our names. Can you please change her name? Change it to what? To Kaylee, correct? K-A-Y-L-E-E? -E. That'll be perfect, because I don't want to keep calling the wrong name. <laughs> so that'll be awesome, awesome, awesome. Run. Yay! Hi, Kaylee! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was keep, kept messing up your name because I was going 100% visual and that was 
throwing me off. All right, so we all know your favorite songs in the movie. We know who your favorite couples are for zombies, everybody. Um, <laughs> who is your favorite villain from every one of the movies? So we'll start with our descendants. Who is your favorite villain villain? Like villain villain or like? They're, or like they the, are the bad the guy in the movie. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Um, it would be Mal and Evie. I have like, I have two because like they're the two girls and I just like, I, I don't know, I just really like them a lot. <laughs> so people may not know who Mal is. So tell us about Mal and then take a moment to tell us about Evie. Okay, well Mal is the daughter of Maleficent and Evie is the daughter of the evil queen from Snow White. Oh, okay, so there's a theme there with who you like. All right. All right, Penelope, Zombies 2. Who was your favorite villain from that Zombies movie? Bucky. Bucky. <laughs> who is Bucky? Because some people haven't seen it, and why is he your favorite villain? So he, um, he in Zombies 2 is like a cheerleader that tries to either keep everyone away from each other and keep, like, take away love. No love. Not, none of that with the two people who are, are falling in love, the main characters. And why I like him is, well, because he's very precise. Honestly, I, I like his precision when he does his, like, dance moves and he does flips and all that. I honestly just like that. Yes. Oh, you. Uh, I'm sorry, but you brought it up. We've got to talk more about Bucky. You said he does flips. What about him is so unique in the Zombies movie? Who is he in the Zombies movie? He is um, the cheer captain, cheer leader, captain, cheer team, captain. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> All right. So um, are we good, Kaylee? Are you OK? All right, are you ready? All right, so Kaylee, can you tell me um, who is your favorite villain from Zombies? Um, it has to be the ACs. Ooh, I am glad you brought them up. Who are the ACs? They're Bucky's sidekicks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are the ACs' names? Tracy, Lacey, and... Stacy. And Stacy. <laughs> yes, Bucky's sidekicks. What is the, what do you remember the ACs doing in this particular movie that was best? Um, well, they like, um, goodness. they, um, so in the second movie, mm -hmm. um, they would like make, I like the names they called Addison for some reason. <laughs> what they call her? Um, I think it was like um, snow or something because of her white hair mm -hmm. in the second movie. Yes, yes, yes. Those are Bucky's sidekicks and they also are fantastic um, dancers. So let's get into the musicals. Um, what draws you to musicals, specifically Disney musicals? What do you like so much about these musicals? So I'm gonna give y'all a second to think. And I'm gonna pull a name off the hat. Maddie! <laughs> so what draws you to musicals? Why do you love them so much? Well, first of all, I like singing and I, I mostly like the plots of the Disney like movies. They, they like all are kind of similar, but like they're different too. And I, and I like how they're catchy, all the songs, so I can like get up and dance and then I remember the, the lyrics easily because of course it's like addicting, so I watch them a lot. <laughs> so, so like, yeah, that, yeah, that's why. That's awesome, <laughs> nice. All right, so we are looking at zombies. I'm imagining blood and gore or, or how can zombies become a favorite musical of yours. What is it about it? So we're gonna pull another name out the hat. Penelope. <laughs> so 
Sorry, I it was taking a while to unmute my microphone. So, um, what what I really like about it is that it's saying like, no matter who you are, no matter what you are like, or like, you can fall in love, and even though people are different, you can always be nice to them and still be friends with them because even though some people have flaws, everyone has flaws. So, yeah, that's what I really like about it. Okay, you are definitely about the story of a musical. Oh my goodness. Girl, I've got to introduce you to some musicals. You like storylines? I've got plenty of musicals for you. And how about you, my friend Kaylee? What draws you to musicals overall and Zombies to the musical? It's the upbeat music. I'm a dancer, so like I can get up and dance and improv to those songs very easily. So that's what I like about them. Oh yes, okay. So let's get into the funniest scenes of the movies. You love these musicals, but musicals work because they have everything, including comedy. What is your fun favorite funniest moment from Descendants, Zombies, and Zombies 2? Go for it, Penelope. Penny. My favorite, um, my favorite funny moment is like um, in Zombies 1, um, so the zombies have this Z band is what they call it, mm -hmm. so that they don't get all um, aggressive and they start, you know, getting all crazy and all. And then um, in the movie, when they're, they accidentally get it taken off, um, when the two sidekicks to Bucky, they kind of push Bucky in front and they're like, ah, let's go, let's go. And then <laughs> they just leave their kind of leader, just they just leave him and they're like, take him, take him. <laughs> oh, I remember that scene. That was hilarious. <laughs> I like the look on Bucky's face when they did that. <laughs> so what are your favorite hilarious moments? Zombies too? I have one from Zombies 1. Um, it's when um, they say, well, zombies almost bit our grandpa's ear. Like, they bit his ear <laughs> off, like a part of his ear. It's so funny. For yes, yes, it is. Nicely done. All right, so any other funny moments that we want to share? Okay, I have one from Descendants. It's from Descendants 2, and it's when, you know, um, I don't remember his name, but um, it's, okay, it's not from Ursula's daughter. It's not. <laughs> are we talking about Harry Hook? Or are we talking about... No, um, okay, we're talking about... Um, it's the guy that Cameron Boyce plays. I can't, I can't ever remember his name, but... It's his dog, you Carlos? know how he gets a dog? Carlos. Carlos. Carlos, yes, 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 Carlos. Um, he get, he has a dog, and I don't know what happened, I can't remember, but like something like, he must have ate something and it makes him talk, and then he just started talking random thoughts that he just had in his head, and then everyone was so confused because the dog started talking, so. <laughs> yes, yes, so Carlos, who is who? Whose son is he? Do you remember? It's the it's the villain from 101 Dalmatians. Yes. Cruella de Vil. Yes. Cruella de Vil. So for those who don't know, Carlos is one of the four villains that were invited to um, take classes on the main island. And his mom is Cruella de Vil. And she raised him to be afraid of dogs. And of course, when he gets to the island, he becomes friends with a dog. And later on in the movies, the dog actually talks because it ate something. So that's what she's referring to. And the dog is hilarious and he makes descendants too. So yes, that is one of our favorite um, hilarious moments from the uh, movie. So I appreciate this guys. You've been doing a fantastic job. I want to kind of wrap it up with musicals. Have any of you seen any other musicals that you love? or are similar to Descendants or um, Zombies that you may have seen before? Um, yes, there's um, Teen Beach Movie. I really <laughs> love that one, so. 
<laughs> that one is my favorite. <laughs> Especially when she's forced to sing when she doesn't want to sing. Yeah. <laughs> Any others? You have to unmute Pen Penny. <laughs> no, I just I I just remember the song that she sings when she isn't um she, when she doesn't want to sing. So I was kind of humming it to myself. And that's what these musicals do. They kind of just sing it in your head. I mean, it's not saying that these are bad songs. I love the songs. <laughs> yes, they are fantastic. So, any other musicals you guys have seen that you have fallen in love with? Head over heels. I think Kaylee has one. Um, so Hamilton. I knew it was coming up. Hamilton. How I've many probably you... seen it about like 13 times? Yes. How many times? That is my first question. Hamilton has been released to Disney Plus. We all were very excited to see it. The question of the day is: how many times have you seen Hamilton since? <laughs> Kaylee? 13 or 14 times. All right, nice. Maddie? Um, I've watched it like three times. Nice. <laughs> Penny? I watched it twice, but honestly, I listen to like some of the songs a lot. So then that's practically another 20 times. So. <laughs> Do you guys Wait. sing all the parts when you sing, when you sing along with Hamilton? Do you sing all the parts, like every bit? Yeah. Yeah, That's most of the time. Part. Yes, nice. All right, so let's get into Hamilton a little bit. Just the music of Hamilton, because it sounds like you guys really, really love the music. What is your favorite song from Hamilton? Mine is Nonstop. Mm, yes, why do you love the song Nonstop? Well, it has everybody Hamilton knows singing in it, basically. All right. Uh, thank you. And how about you, Maddie? What song sticks in your head from Hamilton? Um, uh, mine's Satisfied. I don't know why. I just, I just, I just love that song so much. That is my favorite song. I've actually done a YouTube where I've covered that song. <laughs> So that is fantastic. So does it make you feel like really happy? Like you want to dance around or? Yeah, like if I, whenever I see, if I go on YouTube and then I search it up and then I just like for that bit, I just like twirl around the room whenever she's, she's twirling around the room, you know, when <laughs> they're like in the ballroom. Nice, <laughs> nice. Welcome back, Penny. So what about you? What's your favorite Hamilton song or the one that's stuck in your head? Uh, okay, probably Skylar Sisters. Yes. All right, guys, I was hoping someone would bring up the Skylar Sisters. There is a signature Skylar Sister move and I think we all should do it. Do y'all remember from the song, what do they all do together? I think I do. Uh, what do they do together? So, okay, wait, let me just rewind the song in my head and I'm going to think about it because I have, I know like a slim part of it right now, but then I have to like rewind it in my head to know everything, so. Yes. <laughs> Kaylee? Because you keep oh. muting and not muting, so I think you know. It's work. They do like this. <laughs> we are going to hit a work pose, ladies. So, we have got to do this and then this. It's two moves, okay? So on three, we're gonna work, all right? And you gotta hit a fierce look once you get that second move, all right? One, two, three, work. Nice, awesome. <laughs> so Hamilton the Musical is also one of your favorites. What about the dancing in Hamilton compared to the other Disney musicals? What do you like so much about the dancing? And it looks like Kaylee is in, Kaylee is out. Go for it. What do you like so much about the dancing of Hamilton? So basically, I love the choreography because in Satisfied, it actually looks like they're rewinding in time. And I love how like 
they all put their little spin on everything they did because of their character. Yes, they do dance in character. That is very true. All right. What can else we, about the dance? Can we talk about David Diggs as Thomas Jefferson? Because <laughs> when he comes back as Thomas Jefferson, he is all over the place and it's fabulous. Like, I don't even know how he has that much energy. He's so good. That whole <laughs> little dance with What Did I Miss is so yeah. good. <laughs> oh, yes. We're definitely going to get into the characters of Hamilton. <laughs> Because <laughs> David Diggs is my favorite. Um, him and Renee. I just, I'm all over the place. Um, so what else, guys? What else, what else about the dances that draw you? I have something that isn't about the dances, but about the songs. I kind of like the style. It's more kind of singing, but some, like, but half singing, half kind of rapping. And I kind of like it. Yes, that is it. They have, Hamilton has innovated a lot in the world of musicals. And one of the ways they did it is in the music itself. So it's very dynamic and unique to each character. So since it is dynamic and unique to each character, let's talk about your character. What character do you like best from Hamilton? And if you don't know their names, I will help. Um, I really like Hamilton, you know, because, like, you can, s I don't always agree with him, you know, but, like, I, I don't know, I just kind of get him a lot, you know, I don't yeah. know. Yes, that makes sense. Mine it is, um, Angelica. She's very independent and hardworking, and I just, I really adore that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nice. And Kaylee? Mine is Eliza. Nice. So it's, that is fantastic. So what do you like about Eliza? What's it's the mainly she put she worked her whole life just so her husband husband's story could be told. Yes. That's the ultimate love story. <laughs> well guys, um, I think you've done a fantastic job today. I got a five minute warning. So we are going to wrap up. Last minute thoughts, last minute anything. Is there something you would like to share to the audience out here about Disney musicals that might interest them and make them want to turn it on? Well, there is something about Hamilton, like, and not in part difference that they have from like the Disney ones created by Disney and Hamilton. Disney is not like it's fiction basically and Hamilton is actually based on true like things that happened in history. I don't know. I just I like history. I like learning about it and I don't know if other people do but it's if you like history and you like songs, you know, that's Hamilton. So, yeah. Thank you. How about you, Miss Kaylee? Any last thoughts? All right. And Miss Penny? I actually have a change in favorite character. Go I for completely it. forgot about him and I don't know why. Um, the king that, the king, I think that whatever he sings, whatever he does, it's kind of really silly and all over the place. And I, I like, I think that's funny, so. Yes. The king was hilarious in Hamilton and based on a true person. So, <laughs> so there's a little true history in his behavior. <laughs> so, all right, you guys are going to do a 30 second, a 15 second um, commercial for your movie that you would make people want to watch it. So think about it. You have a 15 second spot or less. Sell your movie to the audience. For Eddie, think. Don't rush. We can take 10 seconds while you plan. Raise your hand when you know you're ready to sell your movie to the audience. And while y'all do that, I'm going to sell my movie. Not just kidding. Go ahead, Penny. I was going to say, and is that, is that Descendants 2 or is it Descendants 3? This is Descendants 2, Uma. Okay. Where she just figured out that her necklace 
clothes and has secret abilities. <laughs> All right, Penny, sell your movie. Let us know what it is and go for it. Do you like to watch m movies with amazing storylines and very catchy songs? Well, then Zombies, Zombies, this, well, I can't really choose between a movie because they're all great. So, Zombies 1 and 2 are the movies for you because they have romance. You cannot split up two people who are in love because love is love. And love everyone because even though they're not perfect, you aren't either. No one is perfect. Everyone should be accepted. And if you like movies with storylines like those, watch those Zombies 1 and Zombies 2 movies. Yes, thank you. Next commercial, sell your movies. <laughs> Maddie? If you love movies with action, love, humor, and betrayal, and very catchy songs, then you will definitely love all the Descendants movies. Every single one of them has different and very cool plots. And yes, you will love all of them. Like I love that commercial, nicely done. And I appreciate you all being here. <laughs> and what's my name? <laughs> Uma. Thank you, ladies. You were wonderful. <laughs>